Hello everyone, this is Chen. So welcome back to another episode of my series all about SF9. So I hope you guys enjoyed my last episode. Um, we're talk about SF9 Dawan. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about SF9 Rowan Sako. I'm so excited, so let's get started. Okay, so let's first read this article from K-pop Map. Meaningful quotes from SF9's Rowan that make him the perfect mental coach. I love it. I'm actually um, so excited to read this because whenever I watch his interviews, like I really love his answers and that he is really a person who can make you inspired. I don't know, but for me, Rowan is my inspiration. But yeah, let's read this. K-pop idols often ooze with charisma with their outstanding vocals and gorgeous dance lines. They make every performance a must-watch, causing many fans to fall for their cool, impressive aura. But stage presence isn't all there is to be an idol. Through various instances, such as interviews and variety shows, idols share encouraging words or praises that showcase their compassionate nature. SF9's Rowan is a perfect example of this. He not only excels as a talented singer and actor, but often shares encouraging words of wisdom that leaves an impact on fans and non-fans alike. His warm-hearted personality simply radiates through his speech and actions, making him the perfect person to go to when life starts to become difficult. If he wasn't in the entertainment industry, we are certain that he could become the perfect mental coach. Aww. Now let's take a look at some of these meaningful praises said by SF9's Rowan. So first, live without regrets. These days, I'm thinking a lot about youth, time, and youth. With every choice, there are always regrets that follow afterwards. Even so, you want to make the decision that has the least regrets. I can stop the flow of time, and it seems like it's only passing by quicker. So I don't want to have any regrets when I look back on my life. These words from Rowan are so meaningful as we often hear about the concept of time. They are a form of encouragement reminding us that our time of youth is precious and will one day become our cherished memories. So we do not regret them in the future. Rowan said that he is still young but um, he realized that his parents are getting older so he is trying to um, spend more time with his family and he honestly said that when life gets hard, when life gets hard, he calls his mom and cried to his mom. I just love his relationship with his family because me, myself, I am also a family-oriented person. Like, I talk everything to my mom and to my dad, but when it's uh, love life related stuff, of course, I go to my mom. <laughs> Next one, embracing nervousness. In an interview with TBS, Rowan was asked how he handles moments of nervousness. He surprisingly responded that he doesn't try to relieve the tension, as it's a natural emotion that we experience in our everyday lives. Rather, he acknowledges the unpleasant feelings, tries to remain positive, and enjoy that nervous state. I remember when during Rowan's fan meeting, someone asked him how he handles stress and he said just accept the stress because even if you try to um, move or to, um, to forget about your stress, like you cannot um, forget it easily or you cannot um, force your stress to go away instantly. So he just said just accept your stress. <laughs> It's not easy to see the feeling of nervousness as something natural, but Rowan makes a valid point. Just as human beings experience emotions like happiness or sadness, in certain situations, it's natural to feel anxious and tense. To face those feelings head-on takes a certain level of maturity that Rowan has most definitely reached. 
Third one, what makes a friend? These days, I've been wondering what is a friend? Friends don't expect things from each other, they share in each other's happiness. This quote from Rowan allows you to see friendship in a different light. It takes friendship and puts the term in its most basic form as simply sharing in each other's happiness. His words might be short, but it comes back with a moving and heartfelt message. I remember him saying during their episode in House on Wheels, um, he invited his two friends from Extraordinary You. And there was this time that he was just staring at his friends and he realized what the true meaning of friendship and he exactly said this that um, looking to your friends you realize that you don't need something from them or you're not expecting to get something from them just their happiness is your happiness and yeah if they're happy it will make you also happy so i just yeah i love it Four, courage to love yourself. The courage to love oneself comes from facing the moments of life's difficulties. Wow, that's deep, y'all. Through this interview, Rowan expresses that he finds the need to love himself while experiencing tough situations. It takes a lot of strength to overcome obstacles and continue loving yourself while getting through it. But if Rowan is able to do this incredible feat, then everyone can look to him for inspiration and strength. That's why he is my inspiration. <laughs> someone also asked Rowan, was during his final meeting in Manila. Um, someone said, uh, I forgot the exact question. But he said, I remember his answer. He said that for him, failures have more meaning than success. Because when you look back, all failures, that failures that you've been through, it's gonna be um, worth it once you reach the success. Yeah, and if you think you're a failure right now, just do your best, you guys. We can all do this, and no one's a failure, and ready yourself. Just ready yourself to accept the blessings that are coming, so yeah. Next one, the fifth one, focus on your strength. Everyone has their own set of skills that they can and cannot do. Some were made to save lives as a doctor while others were born to stand in the front of the classroom as a teacher. Roman's words provides encouragement to pour our strength into the skills that we are good at while leaving the things we cannot do behind. Such inspiring words for everyone trying to forge their own path in life. Just be yourself. I know sometimes it's really hard to be yourself. Why am I giving um, advice right now? But by reading this one, like I feel like I need to make or I need to share my, my thoughts, right? But yeah, sometimes it's really hard to be yourself. But it's harder to pretend someone you're not. Do you guys know what I mean? Like knowing a person is it's good to be yourself at first or since the beginning. So I think that way you can earn that person's trust and you can really build a deep connection to that person. So yeah. Next one, one step at a time. One step at a time. <laughs> Taking that first step is so important. You can't be 100% satisfied, but if you take one box out of them, then that's still a success. Oh, I love this. I love this. Life is not a race, but an everlasting marathon. Rowan reminds us not to rush through life and take things one step at a time. His words offer comfort that every step matters, even if they are small or the first step of many. Thinking about it this way brings a sense of relief that one day we will reach our final destination. I remember someone said to me before, like, I interviewed this person and during that time I said to him that I'm a YouTuber, but I'm just uh, I'm just starting out, like I don't have many followers. And he said to me, it's okay, a small baby steps. So I was like, yeah, you're right. There were times in the past and I think that I need to be successful. The 
I need to rush things. I felt that before. But then I realized that we have our own timeline. Let's just trust God, you know, that in His perfect time, we will get to achieve or we will get all the desires of our hearts, of our lives. Next, live in the present. Be honest and live in the present. If I live every day to the fullest and I'm sure that I've tried my best, I'll have no regrets. It can be easy to remain in the past or worry about where the future might lead us, but Romans' genuine word serves as a reminder to live for today. That way, we can truly say that we tried our best and be happy with the outcome of our lives. Also, Rowan inspired me to find happiness, you guys. I remember in an interview, Rowan had a conversation with his mom and his mom said that, um, follow everything that will make him happy like um, decision-wise it's just so touching to have a family who um, is willing to support you no matter what the next one let's see i i also saw this video sf9 roman making everyone fall in love <laughs> so excited to watch this Oh, he's so young. Wow, I know. 
this. He's so nervous. Shiny sharing same brain brain cells. Cute. Wow, Rochan. Enjoy this episode of All About SF9. Let me know your thoughts about SF9 Rowan. But yeah, for me, if you need an inspiration, SF9 Rowan. <laughs> I really admire his uh, positivity. I really admire his choice of words whenever he is doing interviews. I love how he motivates fans. I love how he inspires his fans. And so if you guys haven't watched House on Wheels, I really love that. But I didn't watch it until they uploaded episode 8. Because I want it to be completed before I watch it because I, I, I need to watch it in one go, you guys. I don't want to feel the agony of waiting for the next episode. <laughs> but I really love watching that because we get to see different side of Rowan because he's not that active on V-Live. So compared to the other members that 
we know the personalities. For Rowan, it's just the I know limited about him. And watching that, it's just um, so exciting and it gets to um, help you learn more about Roman's personality and he is really a giant baby, you guys. <laughs> he's so cute, but he's a giant baby. Literally, he is so cute. And I love that. Even though they're filming for that show, like he gets to enjoy um, um, traveling, to enjoy doing things that he haven't um, done before or to experience things or new things experience new things in general and i'm just happy seeing him having a good time so yeah if you guys haven't watched it go watch it it's available um in vu app here in the philippines and i think um in some countries you can also watch it in vu so if you like this video give this a like and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you in my next vlog Annyeong!